Sermon of fast, breaking feast, Eid al-Fitr. All praise is due to Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. And much praise is due to Allah. Exalted is Allah in the morning and in the evening. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Today, we receive the blessed Eid al-Fitr that spreads joy, happiness, and pleasure into our world. It is a day of the great blessing as the Almighty Allah grants great rewards. It is on that day, Muslims become more happy for the days that they have fasted. Muslims become more happy for the day they have fasted, the prayer they have performed, the good deeds they have done, and the charity they have given. The Almighty Allah says, Say, Prophet, in Allah's grace and mercy, let them rejoice. These are better than all they accumulate. The Prophet وسلم, said, the one who fasts experiences two joys. He feels a pleasure when he breaks the fast. He is joyful by virtue of his fast when he meets his Lord. During the feast, the manifestation of lawful joy are shown as our Prophet وسلم, said when he came to Medina. He وسلم, found people of Medina celebrating two days on which they engaged in games. He asked, what are these two days? What is their significance? They said, we used to engage ourselves in games on them in the pre-Islamic period. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah has, has substituted for them something better than them, the day of Adha, sacrifice, and the day of Fitr, breaking the fast. There is no doubt. There is no doubt that think, thanking Allah the Almighty for His graces is one of the most important manifestation of celebration of Eid. Fasting, my prayer, and other forms of worship are the blessing forms Allah that He bestowed upon His servant and guided them to perform. The Almighty Allah said, He wants you he wants you to complete the prescribed period and to glorify him for having guided you so that you may be thankful. In addition, it is desirable to pay attention to visiting relatives and strengthening social relations and provide for the poor to save them from asking people in that day, on that day. The Almighty Allah said, Allah is well aware of whatever good you do. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, You will be rewarded for whatever you spend for Allah's sake, even if it were a morsel which you put in your wife's mouth. Moreover, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He who believes in Allah and last day, let him show his hospitality to his guest. And he who believes in Allah on last day, let him maintain good relation with his skins. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said about the poor, save them from begging on that day. One of the way to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his guidance is to continue these acts of worship after the month of Ramadan. To continue these acts of worship after the month of Ramadan, 
All the days of the year are season of obedience. And if the gates of paradise are made open in Ramadan, they are not closed after Ramadan. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, said, the gates of paradise are open on Mondays and Thursdays. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, whoever of you, whoever of you performs wudu, ablution carefully and then say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh, I testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a servant and messenger, the eight gates of paradise are open for him. He may enter through whichever of these gates he desires. The continuous adherence to obedience is an act of compliance with the command of the Almighty Allah. As he, glory be to him, said, Worship your Lord. Worship your Lord until what is certain means death comes to you. Aisha was asked, how were the deeds of the Prophet Did he used to do extra deeds of worship in a special days? She said, no, but his deeds were regular and constant. Al Hassan Basri said, one of the rewards of the good deeds is the guidance to perform other, to perform other good deeds. Al Hassan Al Basri said. One of the rewards of the good deeds is the guidance to perform other good deeds. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions and followers. One of the good deeds that Muslim is recommended to do after Ramadan, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said. And instructed us to is to fast six days of the month of Shawwal. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said, whoever fasts Ramadan, then follow it with a fasting six days after Shaw from Shawwal. Then that is equal in reward to fasting the entire year. It is also desirable to continue performing night prayer, making dhikr. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reciting the Holy Quran and performing other acts of worship that one used to observe during, during this blessed month. We ask Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fasting, my prayer, and all our good deeds, and to save our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.